first in a string of videos I plan to make comparing the card sale prices on eBay versus the card sale prices on Card Hobby, the largest sports card platform for the Chinese domestic market. I've mentioned in previous videos how the market in these two spaces for some cards can be quite different, so this series of videos will be focused on getting a snapshot of some of those differences and similarities. Again, this is just a snapshot, it's not always exactly like this, this is just right now. The way I'll do this is I'll look at 10 recent Michael Jordan card sales on Card Hobby. It's not necessarily the 10 most recent, but just 10 that are interesting to me and that are somewhat recent. And then I'll explore how much the same card sold for on eBay. And just to add a little bit more knowledge for myself and anyone else who also uses Comp C frequently, if the card's also for sale on Comp C, I'll make mention of how much it's currently going for there, and I'll throw in my slabs as well, just, just because it's another place where some of these might exist. Now let's get into this. For this video, I'm going to specifically focus on cards slabbed in either PSA or BGS holders. I'm doing this just because it's hard to compare across raw when the condition quality can be so different from card to card and because the other major grading companies, SGC in particular, are not nearly as common as PSA or BGS in the Chinese domestic market. So, so using PSA and BGS will just make it easier to find cards um, you know, that are cool and that you know I can actually have more to choose from. Um, these cards are going to be presented in no particular order, just kind of an order in which I found them generally, kind of going to start with some of the more expensive stuff and work my way down to some of the some of the more common common base cards that are from cool sets number 10 1997-98 metal universe platinum portrait bgs9 this sold on card hobby on july 31st 2022 for ten thousand six hundred eighty four dollars this sold on ebay on august 7th 2022 for eleven thousand three hundred dollars now this is actually the exact same card the exact same serial number so it sold about eight days later after its sale on card hobby so i'm guessing that the buyer on card hobby immediately flipped it onto the ebay auction um, since there's only this one week in between the two sales i'm even guessing that the original buyer held off on having the seller send it to them and probably sold it on eBay and then just had the seller send it to whoever bought it on eBay. I'm guessing just to, otherwise I don't see how it would fit into just eight days. So I don't know for sure, um, but that's my guess. Uh, this one's not for sale on Comp C or My Slabs, by the way. Some of these higher end ones might be harder to find on Comp C and, and, and My Slabs. Number nine, 1996-97 Flare Showcase Hot Shots, BGS 9.5. This one sold on July 10th, 2022 on Card Hobby for $5,270. And just as a little side note here, this exact same card with the same serial number actually sold back in May for a little more than $7,000. So it's very possible that somebody lost a little bundle on this one. And then there was an eBay sale on August 19th, 2022 for $5,500 in a buy it now sale. So just a tiny bit more on eBay, pretty close. Once you consider the fact that eBay's uh, fees are much higher than Card Hobby, it probably really evens itself out pretty much. So, uh, ComC and MySlabs does not have this one up for sale. Number eight, the 9697 Skybox Z Force, Big Men on Court in a PSA 8. This sold on Card Hobby on July 11th, 2022 for $3,120. This one sold on eBay on July 5th, 2022 for $4,030. So I think there might be something sketchy going on here. This is the exact same card, exact same serial number. Um, and it sold from China on eBay for that $4,030. And less than a week later, it sells on the Chinese domestic market. So that seems strange to me. There's no way it could have gotten to China that quickly with customs and stuff like that. So I can only assume that the eBay sale didn't go through. My guess is that the eBay sale was fake to prop up the market price so that the guy could probably sell it on Card Hobby for more money. Because, you know, even on Card Hobby, a lot of times the people will go and look at eBay comps before making their bids. Uh, they sometimes will look on Card Hobby comps, but it's I think it's actually quite more more common for them to go over and look on eBay comps before making their bid. I can't really see what else might have happened here. My only guess is that that eBay sale, even though it says it went through, my only guess is that it didn't actually go through. And the other reason that this one seems a little sketchy to me is that price on eBay and that price on Card Hobby actually, both of those seem quite high in comparison to other uh, of the same card and other grades and stuff that have sold over the past couple of months. This one really stands out, you know, it's quite a bit higher than the other ones. So this one also just seems a little bit sketchy to me. Don't know for sure, but it's questionable. Number seven, 1997-98 Skybox Premium Competitive Advantage, PSA 9. Really cool looking card. 
This one sold on July 31st on Card Hobby for $1,035. And this one has two recent sales on eBay, July 10th and July 17th, 2022. One for $1,165 and one for $1,025. So again, pretty close, pretty close between those two. Com C, this is not for sale. And on my slabs, you can buy this for $1,400. Number six is the 9798 Skybox Premium Thunder and Lightning in a PSA 8. So this one sold on July 21st, 2022 on Card Hobby for $1,352. And then 10 days later, this exact same card sold on eBay on July 31st, 2022 for $1,550. So once again, I think this was a quick flip. Somebody bought it on Card Hobby, immediately put it up for sale on eBay for a quick flip and made a little bit of profit, not a whole lot. I mean, when you consider the sales fees in there, they might not have made any profit at all. Um, this one, you can't find this one on Comp C currently. You can find other versions of it on my slabs. The PSA 7 is going for $1,650 and the SGC 9 is going for $4,695. That's a little ridiculous, but that's what it is. Number five, the 1996-97 Fleer Metal. This is just the base card in PSA 9. Uh, in Card Hobby, this has two recent sales, one in July and one in June 2022. The July one was $45. The June one was $81. In eBay, this has two recent comps as well in July for $59 and $48. So that $81 one on Card Hobby is definitely the highest, but they're all relatively close in that range. Uh, you can buy this one on Comp C for $98 or on My Slabs as an SGC 8.5 for $49 or as a PSA 7.5 for $55. Neither of those are great deals. Number four is the 1997-98 Metal Universe, which is a really cool looking card. I love this thing. I really want to get this one at some point. This one and the, and the 93-94 Finest, which I do have for my PC now, are two of the 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 base cards, Michael Jordan base cards that I just really want to have for my for my PC. Uh, so this one is in a BGS 8.5. On Card Hobby, this sold in June 2022 for just 90 bucks. And on eBay, it sold in July 2022 for $172.50. So quite a bit higher on eBay, this one. Uh, you can buy this one on Comp C right now for $400. And then on my slabs, they don't have any BGS 8.5s, but they got a lot of different ones for sale. They got a, a CSG 8.5s going for 140, SGC 8.5 going for 150, SGC GC9 going for 280, BGS 7.5 going for 70, PSA 9 going for 995, and a BGS 9.5 going for 2500. So none of those would be cards I would actually buy, but that's what's available on my slabs. Number three, the 1997-98 Topps Chrome base card in a PSA 9. This one sold on Card Hobby in June 2022 for $85. This one sold on eBay in August and earlier in July also, 2022 of course, one for 56 and one for 55. So decent amount higher on Card Hobby for this one. This one's currently for sale on Com C for $148 and on My Slabs for $100. Number two, the 1997-98 Flare Showcase Row 2 in PSA 9. This one sold on Card Hobby in June 2022 for $62. This one sold in June and then two in August. Uh, 2022 on eBay for 130, 65, and 120. These were all buy it now, so none of those were auctions. Um, this one, there's currently none of them available on Com C, but you could get a BGS 8.5 for $134.49 or a BGS 9.5 for $269, neither of which is a very good deal. Uh, on my slabs, you can get an SGC 8 of it for $85, also not a really good deal. So this is another one. This one actually goes a lot higher on eBay. So you can see, you know, it's it's a little bit here, a little bit there. You know, sometimes the China one goes higher, sometimes the US one goes higher. All right, and number one, we will look at the 1991-92 Skybox. This is one of many cards in the Skybox base set, but it's this one in particular in a PSA 10. Uh, this one on June, in June 2022 on Card Hobby, this one sold for $64.50. And on eBay in July and in August, this one sold uh, the first one for $112.49 and the next one for $71. And then on Com C, you can currently buy this for $100. And on My Slabs, you can buy a CSG 8.5 for $24. All right, this is interesting stuff, a bit different than what I expected to find, to be honest. I, I think maybe I might I might try to do something similar with some raw, even though I can't compare the, the, the quality so well uh, just from the scanned images but I might I might do that because I have a feeling um, that the raw 
is is where the bigger gaps are. It seems like the 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 graded prices tend to be a little bit closer in the two markets more often. And you can see that from this. There's some places where it's more expensive in the U.S., some places where it's more expensive in China, but it's generally in the same wheelhouse most of the time. Um, you know, there's some some stuff that can fall through the cracks in in one market or the other market at times. But I don't think that tells you anything like any pattern. Um, but it seems like the graded cards are a little bit closer here. Um, so at some point, maybe I will have to make a similar video and explore the raw just to see what I can see. Um, and I think I might do this kind of thing periodically. I, this is really useful knowledge for myself because I'm, I'm doing quite a lot of international arbitrage as somebody who you know, has connections both in the U.S. and China. I currently live in, in China and, and you know, doing a lot of this kind of international arbitrage stuff. So I'm probably going to do some more videos like this with some other names of people that, that seem to be popular in, in the Chinese market. Names like Kobe Bryant and LeBron James. And, and then also maybe do a little comparison with some of the more modern rookies too. The, the Lamellos and the Evan Mobleys and stuff and just see. See what I can see. I think it's quite it's quite interesting. It's useful knowledge for me, and I think it's interesting for anybody, even if it's not like so useful for you. But that's it for this video. So check you next time. Peace.